The Nintendo Switch has so many games. It's got classic games like Mario, Pokemon, it's got Donkey Kong, it's got Pikmin. But in today's video, I'm going to go over my whole entire Nintendo Switch collection so far as of summer 2023. Let's get started. What is going on guys? Jimmy here with a video today. And yes, we're back with a collection video today. It was uh, the poll, I made a poll over the weekend, and it looks like the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5 were the competing collections to, to be shown. And since PlayStation 5 was super duper close, we're going to do a PlayStation 5 collection video next Monday. So mark your calendars, that date on the screen right here. So yes, today I'm going to go over the Nintendo Switch collection. It consists of 45 games of total. It uh, does not include the pre-orders uh, from Best Buy, and it doesn't include a couple other games I couldn't find, but I think one was Ring Fit, so keep that in mind, Ring Fit, so that's 46 games. Before we get started today's video, guys, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, Hulk smash that like button, comment down below by the end of the video, which game is your favorite in this collection, and let me know what kind of games I should pick up in the future. Let's get started. So we're going to go alphabetical order, we're going to start with Animal Crossing New Horizons, and this is my girlfriend's game. I really have never played this, I can't say anything bad or good about it. I played the 3DS one with her briefly and it was pretty fun on like a holiday or something like that. But this is definitely one of her favorite games. She also got the expansion from the online for the Nintendo Switch that comes with this. This is a great game if you're an Animal Crossing fan. I hear nothing but great things about it. But in my opinion, this is definitely not my type of game. But I definitely like another game that's like Animal Crossing on this list. And we'll talk about that pretty shortly. Up next is Astral Chain. Astral Chain, this game is really difficult to find. I don't know if it's difficult to find a GameStop used, but it's definitely hard to find new. And I got this game uh, about six months ago. I had it originally. I got rid of it because I needed money at the time. So that was really difficult to get rid of. But this right here is Astral Chain. And this is by Platinum Games. Platinum Games makes games like Bayonetta. Spoiler alert, that's coming up. Uh, it makes games like Wonderful 101. It's really, really an over-the-top company when it comes to making games and their action boss fights. So he's Astral Chain. I cannot wait to play this. I have yet to play too much of this. I played it maybe an hour or two of this, and it's really, really fun. Up next is Bayonetta 1 and 2 Double Pack. This is a pretty rare game to find this way. Um, Bayonetta, like I said, is an over-the-top action game. So this one's pretty hard to find. This one uh, comes with Bayonetta 1 Digital and Bayonetta 2 Physical. This was from the Wii U ported to the Switch. So I haven't really played too much of this game. I see my girlfriend play way more of this, so yes, a lot of these games she's played much more, which is uh, insane, because I play more of the PlayStation 5 games, but there's some games in here I play a lot of. So yes, if you like Bayonetta and you love Devil May Cry style type of combat and over the top stuff, this is definitely your game. Up next is Bayonetta 3. This is the one that came out about 10 months ago, maybe uh, maybe a year ago. This one is extremely good, I hear. I uh, have not played this one yet. I need to get into the Bayonetta games. Let me know in the comment section below what you like about the Bayonetta game. Up next is another Bayonetta game. Bayonetta Cereza and the Lost Demon Origins. Hope I said that right. That was a mouthful right there. Yes, this game is totally different from Bayonetta. This is actually more of a uh, gauntlet type of game or something in the lines like that. It, it's definitely different. It's not a rogue type game by any means. But I'm pretty sure that this game is about... Um, the origin story to Bayonetta, how she became Bayonetta. This is really cheap on Amazon recently. Finally got this one, and if you are in need for a Bayonetta game, the Best Buy buy two get one free if you're a member would be fit really good with these games. Coming up next is a game I played a good amount on the Wii U, but I have not played barely any on the Switch. This is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This is one of the best highlights of Super Mario 3D World. Yes, I say Mario or Mario. I don't know which one I pick at times. But yeah, this right here is the complete version of that game inside 3D World. The Wii U had a great version, I think it was with uh, 3D, with some extra levels, but this one takes a little step further and puts Odyssey levels in it. So yes, you are playing Captain Toad, the complete edition pretty much. And like I said, I played a lot in the Wii U, but have not had a lot of time on the Switch with this one yet. But a great, great underrated game at, at that. Up next is a game I played a lot as a kid, uh, all three of them actually, and actually played a good amount on the Switch, and that is Aladdin, Lion King, and Jungle Book. I am a huge 90s and below Disney fan, even early 2000s is pretty good. But yes, yeah, so yes, these three games right here, all classic, jam-packed on one cartridge. Uh, there was a different version before that where Aladdin was the Sega Genesis version, which I really didn't like compared to the Super Nintendo one. Everyone knows that this SNES version is better. It's much better. But seriously, so yes, I've played a lot of Aladdin, a lot of uh, Lion King, and Jungle Book, the, the, the weakest of the three, but still a great game nonetheless. And Lion King, oh my god, that freaking game is impossible when you play as a kid. That is a very tough game. But listen, listen, there's something missing here. Where's Toy Story? 
Enough said. All right, so that is a game that I actually played it. Up next is a game I was talking about earlier that's similar to Animal Crossing. This is a game I will play, and I actually played a ton of it. It is Disney Magical World 2. Played a lot of it on the 3DS. The first one, however, Nicole and I played, I mean, like, thousands of hours. It was literally had an addiction card system. It had so much cool Disney fanfare. It, it was so good. And this game, I hear, builds upon that, but takes the card system out, which sucks. But this is something me and my girlfriend play together a lot, and I cannot wait to play this again on the Switch. Played a lot on 3DS, like I said. This one, we have two of them, actually, because we played at the same time. That shows you how much we love Disney and uh, play... Uh, this is the Animal Crossing version. Oh, boy! Hi, pal! Up next, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. This is the Wii U port to the Switch. This is an excellent game. If you love Donkey Kong, you're going to love this one. This one literally needs to be shown to bring the other future of Donkey Kong. We need Donkey Kong Country. We remaster. We need some game after this. This is an excellent, very challenging game. If you love Donkey Kong, this has all of it on the Wii U. Plus, I think some more characters and stuff. Nothing too crazy at it, but it's definitely one of the best Wii U games towards the Switch. Up next is Great Ace Attorney. Now, this game is probably going to be one of those games that goes up in price one day uh, because it is like a latent game. Isn't it? It's one of those type of games, detective style games, but this one's more of a courtroom type of game. So, this one kind of reminds me of Danganronpa's uh, trial system, which is one of my favorite things of Danganronpa. Uh, by the way, that's on PlayStation. Have that on PS4, so keep that in mind. But uh, this right here has so much uh, going for it. It's got three games or two games in one. It's got three or two games in it. I think it's got two. Um, but this one I have not played too much yet, and uh, I cannot wait to play the Great Ace Attorney Collection. Up next, we have Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Uh, if you love Kirby... This is your Kirby game. This is a Kirby game I watched my girlfriend play nonstop until literally it was like freaking 2 or 3 in the morning. This game is legitimately the best Kirby you're going to play. That's going to challenge to it because Kirby is known to be a very delicate, easy game when it comes to the main story. This game, however, actually has real boss fights and is really fun. Played some of it. It's really fun. If you love Kirby, this is the go-to game if you're looking for a challenge. Up next, another Kirby game. The reason why I have this one is because this is the Wii uh, upgraded... HD port uh, version, because the Wii was never an HD version, I guess you could say. This is the deluxe version of the Wii game that came out, I think, in 2011. This is Kirby and the Forgotten Dreamland Deluxe. This is actually a pretty challenging game, but then again, this was 10 years ago I played this, or 12, 13 years ago. But this, this game is the best Kirby game to play besides Forgotten Land. I would play this way over Star Allies. That game's way too easy. This is uh, got so much to it, all so much extra stuff that makes it more challenging. If you love Kirby, there's your other Kirby game. Up next is a game that needs to follow its footsteps after this, and that is the Layton's, let me see if I can do this, Layton's Mystery Journey of Katrina of the Millionaire Conspiracy. I probably said that wrong, but this game is a Professor Layton game at heart. It's obviously not Professor Layton, it's Lady Layton, it's his daughter. This game is a very, very good, very challenging with puzzles. We are about to get a new Professor Layton game on the screen right here. This is something to, set to come out sometime next year. Obviously, it's not later this year. If you love Professor Layton, this one, I guess, is the start of new things to come. We need the Azran Legacy and Phoenix Wright vs. Layton and all the other ones on the Switch pronto. Yes, bring it. It will be all amazing. Up next, we have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Everyone's played this game. I played a good amount of it. My girlfriend's played a good amount of it. It's one of the better Zelda games i played. And Zelda's got amazing games. Legend of Zelda games are amazing. I've seen her play this. The boss fights are fun in this. Uh, we have not played the other one yet, so keep that in mind. But this one, I need to go back and play some more. If you love Legend of Zelda, obviously. If you have a Nintendo Switch, you're pretty much going to own this one. Up next is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is a, I think, a remake of the, let me get this right, remake of the Game Boy game. And this one is really fun, over-the-top Zelda game, very, very dungeon-crawling style, very fun, very challenging. Played a good amount of this, so is my girlfriend. This is a good one. Up next is a game that came out later in the Wii cycle, and that is Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This is HD uh, upgrade version of the Wii one. This one does, does, does show it. This has got the emotion controls, just like the Wii one, but much better, because obviously the freaking Joy-Cons are 10 times better than the Wii modes that look like they're from the freaking 80s, the way they handle. But... For real. This is the best uh, way to play this game on the Switch. Definitely pick this up if you love Legend of Zelda. And uh, obviously, this is the one with the motion controls. Up next is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I have not even opened this yet. This is embarrassing. I know. Coming up next, we have Luigi's Mansion 3. If you love Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, you're going to love this one. Obviously, they're remaking the one on the 3DS. I really wish they would make the one on the GameCube as well, on the Switch, like a double pack. But, I mean, it's great we're getting Dark Moon. That's a great game. 
This is an excellent game that is honestly a system seller and a very underrated game compared to the games like Odyssey and Zelda Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is an excellent game. Coming up next, we have Mario Golf Super Rush. Yes, this is in plastic, and there's for a good reason why this is in plastic. There's a couple games in plastic uh, that I will be making a, um, a video about what I picked up at Best Buy. So yes, this is one of the games I picked up at Best Buy for the buy two get one for real. I'll explain it way more in that video, but this one right here, uh, definitely, definitely got a good deal on this one. Definitely, really good one. I played it before. Uh, I think I played a demo or something, and I love the motion controls. Um, this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is the complete definitive way of playing Mario Kart. This has, if you have Nintendo Online or just bought the course pack itself, you know that there is, what, 60 courses or something like that, 48. They're adding to this game. This game is already big to begin with. It was a Wii U port to the Switch. It didn't have too much. I mean, it had some extra stuff coming to Switch, but this just took it by storm, and we don't even need a new Mario Kart just yet because this one adds all some old levels from Mario Kart Double Dash, from the old one from the N64, Super Nintendo to the to NES, Wii, anything. There's so many courses they added in this, and I'm sure you know. Up next is a very under the radar type of game, and honestly, the first one was a blast. I have that one digital. This one is Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I have not played more than 10 to 20 minutes of this. This is honestly the best way to play a real-time strategy game, is this and the Persona game looks like it's gonna be when it comes out as well. I really, really am not into these type of games, but this one, nonetheless, I like the first one. If I played maybe like a couple hours hours of it. This one, however, I haven't played too much of it, but I hear this one's even better. Up next is Mario Tennis Aces. I've had this one for a long while. If you love motion controls, you love tennis, this is the best way of playing it. Honestly, it's better than Switch Sports. It's honestly not going to be on the VR level, obviously on PlayStation VR 2 or even VR 1, but this one, very, very fun. We have, we have the tennis rackets for this one as well. It's a really fun time to play. Um, it, it's, it works well, too, but um, there's some added stuff too. It's a tennis game. I mean, tennis isn't the most fun sport in the world, but when it's motion controls, it's fun. Up next, we have a game that's been out of stock for a while on Best Buy, and this is also part of my buy two get one free with the Best Buy thing I made a video about like a week ago. We have Master Detective Archives Raincode. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Yes, this is a Spike Chunsoft game. Now, there are, there's so many games I want to be like Dangarampa, and there are so many ones that fail at it. Crystar did not like it. Uh, Zankai Zero was a joke. There's so many games. I mean, th that game made my head hurt. I feel like I was playing like a game on the Sega Genesis. It was that bad. But um, when it comes to Rain Code, this is the closest we're going to get to the Danganronpa type of game. And this, I hear, is an excellent under the radar type of game, just like Danganronpa was. The same creators that made Danganronpa with Spike Chunsoft. Obviously, this is the game that is the game if you like Danganronpa. And I see why it's hard to find. The I2 Get One Free alone would make this go out of stock. Cannot wait to play this. Like I said, Danganronpa collection I have on PS5 or 4, PS4. Up next, Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread is an excellent side-scrolling Metroidvania, I think you're going to call it, type of game. This is a tough, tough, tough game. If you love tough games on Nintendo Switch, they're hard to come by sometimes, unless it's obviously going to be like Metroid, or I can't... There's some, there's some tough games out there, but Bayonetta. But this right here is the one of the toughest games I play on the Switch. This is an excellent looking game. Even on the OLED, I have not played too much of that thing, but this looks amazing on that. I'd rather play on the TV. Uh, if you love Metroid side scrolling game, uh, this is definitely uh, a very fun and exciting game and a very tough game at that. And they added so much stuff to it. Up next, we have a Metroid Prime remaster from the GameCube to the Nintendo Switch. This was announced at one of the Nintendo Directs. People went crazy when this was announced, and I can see why. This is one of the best looking remasters on the Switch, and um, I played a lot on the GameCube. I can't say anything better than, it's just an excellent game. If you love Metroid and you want a better version with better graphics and better controls and motion controls, I'm pretty sure, in the game, then you're gonna love this one on the Switch, because I played a lot of it on the Wii when there was a collection, and this is good things to come, because we need number two and three now. This is Nintendo's version of Halo. We've always known that. Up next is a game that's kind of like Pokemon. Uh, you know about me and my girlfriend, we're huge Pokemon collectors. We had a Pokemon channel, barely touch it anymore. It's just I'd rather focus on this channel and my impressions channel, which will both be, which my impressions channel will be in the description below if you like voice impressions. Like, worst episode ever! There you go, I get one impression, because this is not that channel. <laughs> but yeah, so Monster Hunter 
stories too. The reason why I'm talking about Pokemon is because this feels like a Pokemon style Monster Hunter game. Got this very cheap on Amazon last Black Friday. I have not played it, but I'm definitely going to play and I know I played the demo. Up next is Neo The World Ends With You. The biggest reason why I picked this up because I love Kingdom Hearts. That is one of the biggest franchises that I play the most of. I, I, that is literally my favorite franchise of all time. Love Disney and the Final Fantasy mix. These guys were in Dream Drop Distance, not these guys the exact ones from World Ends With You, which is very hard to find. This one, however, I hear is even better, but I don't think these are the ones from the Dream Drop Distance game, but I, if I love Kingdom Hearts, I gotta get World Ends With You. Up next is a game I'm glad they brought to Nintendo Switch uh, of a new version. This is new Pokemon Snap. I love the original Pokemon Snap on the N64. You can obviously play on Nintendo Online if you have the membership. I love Pokemon Snap. I have played a little bit of this on my Pokemon channel about two years ago, and it's pretty embarrassing. I know I need to go back and play this. Maybe I'll stream on this channel. Let me know. Love Pokemon Snap. Such a classic. Up next is new Super Mario Bros. Deluxe U. This was part of the Vi 2 Game on Free I did, and obviously you can see it's a classic. Uh, it's the Wii U port to the Switch. It's much better. It looks much better. Plays much better. Has some extra stuff, I think. Uh, that's too much. I'm, I'm really pumped up about Wonder, actually. Up next is Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is becoming a hard game to find due to the fact that Pikmin 1 and 2 are selling out like hotcakes, and the Pikmin 4 game that just came out is also selling really well. Those... Uh, Pikmin uh, 2 and 1 and 2 is digital, but you can also get the physical version in September. I did pick up, obviously, the next game, which is Pikmin 4. have not played it yet. This is going to be a um, game that uh, I want to play after I play Pikmin 3. But, yes, this is uh, was part of the buy 2 game on free. So, yes, Pikmin 4 and Pikmin 3. I got both of them. Uh, the collection is not here yet. That will be a pre-order for September. I did on the Best Buy membership thing. But yes, I loved Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. Coming up next, we have one of the first of the 10 Pokemon games on this list. It's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Yes, this one is the Nintendo DS remake to the Nintendo Switch. It's been about, what, 10 years since? Or more than 10 years, obviously. But this one looks great. Uh, if you love this generation of Pokemon, uh, this is definitely for you. I've never played this as a kid because I stopped collecting Pokemon when Neo came out. After Neo came out, I stopped and I stopped the Pokemon altogether and then reunited with it in freaking, what, a, two decades later? And I'm so glad I did. This, I cannot wait to play. Let me know what you guys think about it. Up next is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is has to do with later in the generation of Sword and Shield of the Pokemon cards. So obviously like uh, Astral Radiance and Lost Origin and all that stuff. If, uh, I know too much about Pokemon cards. It's ridiculous, I know. But this right here, I hear is an RPG style way more than the other games of the Pokemon series. I cannot wait to play this. Yes, I haven't had time to play it yet. Up next is my favorite Pokemon game. Probably because A, I played a decent amount of it. And B, I literally grew up with this. And this is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. This is literally a nostalgic trip back to the 90s if you love pokemon generation one the 151 speaking of that I can't wait for the set in september but this right here is going to be your game i love this game yes it's missing wild pokemon which is ridiculous let me know if you want me to stream this one as well i will start from the beginning i have only played about a few hours of it up next is pokemon scarlet this game here was a disaster like it was made like duke nukem forever or medal of honor whatever that game airborne not airborne the, the resident Evil raccoon city you know I'm going with this. This game was broken on day one. This game was so broken that people were literally asking for refunds digital. So, yes, this game was fixed. Played a few hours, see how it was. And I didn't have too many problems with it. Maybe it's because post-patch. But, yes, if you love the new generation of Pokemon, I'm very mixed on Scarlet and Violet's generation because I really love the alternate arts of the, from the other set. See, I'm talking about Pokemon again. But, yes, I love when it comes to the Pokemon cards, the Sword and Shield era. But this right here, um, we are getting a massive Charizard set called Side and Flame soon. So... There we go again. But yes, if you love Pokemon, the new generation is right there. Up next is Pokemon Sword and the Expansion Pass. I am going to play this very soon. Mark my words, I'm going to be playing this real soon because I've really enjoyed the Sword and Shield era for, for the most part in the, in the TCG. But when it comes to this and the collecting, but when it comes to this, I really want to play this now since I know all uh, there is to know about the Sword and Shield era. And uh, yes, I cannot wait to play it. Um, it's, I know. It's ridiculous. Up next, we're at the Pokemon Realm, and we're back into the RPG stuff. We got Shin Megami Tensei 5. If you love Persona 5, that is why you're going to pick this one up. I really, really liked what I played of this so far. Uh, I need to find the time to play this game as a whole. But yes, I really think it's what made Persona what it is today. Shin Megami Tensei is that, um, that series, and this one looks amazing. It's got so much to it. 
Up next is a game you're probably going to find on eBay for over $100 or at a yard sale for probably $250. And that is Super Mario 3D All-Stars. This game has become extremely rare. And to be honest, we all knew about this before it was going to become rare because Nintendo did say that this was only going to be a limited time store thing and now it's gone. I honestly stayed around longer than I thought. But yes, this is classic Galaxy, Sunshine, and, and 64 Mario. Uh, who hasn't played these games? Amazing, amazing games. Love them. They're great on the Switch. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, so a few games left here. We have Super Mario 3D World. If you love Mario 3D World from the Wii U, honestly, it was one of the most underrated games that is still on the Wii U if you don't have a Switch. Um, this is an excellent game. It adds Bowser's Fury. I don't know what that is. Maybe some mini games or something. But this, the real thing is the 3D World. If you love 3D World, pick this up. It's probably, it's going to look better on the Switch and it plays better. T top rated game, definitely right here. Up next is a system seller, Super Mario Odyssey. Cannot wait till I make a second one. Uh, my girlfriend and I love this game. This game was so good, so so much fun. It wasn't too easy, it wasn't too hard. It was so, so fun, and I see why people like this game so much. And a uh, big reason why I picked up 60, uh, the, the tennis games, because it added the uh, New Donk City course to uh, that game, so that's a big reason why I picked that one up. But yes, if you love Super Mario Odyssey, this is good things to come for the second one, hopefully. Up next is the best Mario Party game in a long time. This is Super Mario Party. I personally only pick these games up when they're motion controlled. When it comes to Mario Party, there's two types of gamers. You got the ones that like to play with the controller from the original style, or you can play motion controls. I like the motion control stuff. Really like it on, uh, I liked it on the Wii. I liked it on the Wii U when it was worked right. But yes, this I love because most of the games, or a lot of the games, however, are really in motion control and they play very well. Up next is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This literally speaks his name, just like Mario card this is the ultimate way to play it uh this has so many freaking characters i think it's got every single character from brawl and melee and the original it's just obviously original but this has everything it even has dlc packs of joker from persona it has banjo kazooie it has oh my god it freaking has bayonetta and it's cloud it has freaking sora sora from kingdom hearts sephiroth i mean this this has everything Best Smash Brothers I've ever played, seriously. Up next is a game that I honestly picked up on the buy two, get one free. Could not find a third game. Uh, I'm a little worried about this one because I played this one a while ago and it didn't have motion controls, just like the new one's about to get it. I personally think I got dragged in and bought both Wario games. But yes, this game, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to give it a chance, uh, see how I like it this time. I haven't played it in a couple years, maybe a year or two. Uh, but yes, Wario, uh, get it together. It's got a really cool uh, Nintendo-themed uh, minigame. Remember that. And last, but certainly not least, is Yoshi's Crafted World. Yes, this is probably the easiest game on this on this collection. Obviously, it's like Kirby Star Allies difficulty, but this is the only Yoshi game on the Switch. It's got so much imagination to it. It's got so much uh, um, different types of levels, so much variety to it. And honestly, I see why we kept this game, because this is a very, very fun and it could be challenging if you make it that way. All right, that is it for today's video. That is my girlfriend and I's Nintendo Switch collection. Uh, this collection has 45 games. We're going to have more games coming up because the Best Buy, I pre-ordered some with the buy two, get one free. Stay tuned for a video about my pickups with that. And obviously, you saw them in here. But if you want to see that video, I'll be on Thursday of... Uh, next week so stay tuned to that but yes stay tuned guys for more gaming videos let me know in the comment section below what your favorite game is here let me know which game you think is the worst game the best game which games i need to pick up and also stay tuned for another video tomorrow about gamestop and pro day incoming all right guys stay awesome stay positive most of all stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys